Thank you for watching this video about our paper in academic management learning and education. I am Herman Aguinis. And I'm James Bailey. We're both professors at George Washington University. And we have a question for you. Do you want your research to have impact? And of course, the answer to that is yes. That's why we went into it. Myself, you, and all of us. For sure, but what is impact? How do we define impact? How do we measure impact? Typically, we do that by measuring Google Scholar citations or Web of Science citations, which is great because that's the impact we have on other researchers. Your research, my research gets published, and other researchers cite that paper. That's good, but is it enough? Is that really enough? Aren't we interested in impacting audiences other than just professors, for example, practitioners? And what we did in our paper is fairly unique. We looked at future practitioners, students. We used a novel approach to measuring impact. What we did is we looked at 38 textbooks and counted citations in those textbooks. This is a different way than counting citations in Google Scholar or Web of Science because citations in textbooks are telling us a transfer of knowledge from professors to future practitioners, those students. This is not a professor to professor transfer. It's a professor to future practitioner transfer. And of those 38 textbooks, we had 33,000 citations, 34,000 authors. And what that did was allow us to see whether or not what's being cited in journals is the same thing that's being cited in textbooks. And there was virtually no correlation, almost none. So what it is that we're communicating to each other is not what's being communicated to the students. And very importantly, there was an enormous amount of non-academic journals cited in textbooks. There's a lot of good news in the paper. 75% of the citations came from academic journals. What we write is being communicated to these future practitioners. 25% came from non-academic journals, like the Wall Street Journal. That's good news, too. The students are being exposed to different kinds of knowledge. That's right. In terms of the meaning of impact, we found that citations as measured by Google Scholar and Web of Science were not correlated with citations in textbooks, which means that if you as a researcher want to know if you're having an impact on students, looking at your Google citation count is not going to help. Will not be informative, but does that mean that we shouldn't use Google Scholar? Not at all. We should use that because we want to learn our impact on other researchers. But we should also look at other measures that look at the impact for other stakeholders, students and future practitioners. So what's all this mean for performance management systems of faculty? It's fairly straightforward. If you want to reward something other than academic citations, you have to use alternative metrics. Here's another takeaway. We found that journals like Business Horizons and Organizational Dynamics are cited quite a bit in textbooks. These are not journals that are typically considered in the top rankings of journals, academic journals. So should we reward these publications? Should we encourage the publications? Well, it depends on what kind of audience you're trying to reach, what kind of stakeholder you're trying to influence. Overall, our paper has a message that you need to think about who you're trying to influence, which stakeholder, and then measure impact using different measures to do that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, please email us if you'd like.